let's talk about how to import your passwords into Hudu. Now, to find where those passwords are, we're going to go to our admin tab. And then under account administration, we have our import data section. We can choose from the number of templates that we have ready. And for this one, we'll be doing passwords. And now we're going to open up that CSV and show you exactly how to add in that info and then import that data. We have the company name, the name of the entity itself, and the place to place our credentials and other items that are important, like our OTP secret keys. In this case, when we're filling out a password, it's important that we hit the essential items. In this case, we have the company name, the name of the entity, and the password are essential for importing those. And we can see when we go into building a password, the name has that red check mark to help identify that, as well as the credential. We'll also need the company name to ensure that it's being placed in the right section of your Hudu instance. Now let's take a look at the populated CSV. We can see that we have our companies here with two different examples in this case, but we can of course have as many as we'd like. And the OTP secret codes here, for those that are applicable, we can import those details and codes. The other point I want to draw your attention to is the folder ID. Within Hoodoo, you'll be able to create password folders, and those will have their associated ID numbers. If we're doing a first time import, I recommend leaving this null, as if we associate an ID number with a password folder that hasn't been built yet, we won't be able to identify or find those passwords. So make sure that if you are having a folder ID, that we have it with the correctly associated folder within Hoodoo. But now that we're ready, let's go over to the instance and talk about importing these passwords in this specific file. When we're ready to import, we'll go back to that same section for importing data, but scroll down and go to the Start Import Process button at the bottom of the screen. There, we can choose the import type. By default, it's on companies, but we want to make sure we're selecting passwords, and then we'll import the right file type. With that file selected, we can then preview the import by highlighting the line number, company name, and the other items to make sure that the information is coming in how we'd like to before we scroll down and start that import. If you start your import and realize that you're missing certain items, we can go back a section and just below that import button, we can take a look at previous imports and their logs. So in this case with passwords, if I go to the view log, we'll see that we encountered an issue on line three, letting us know that company must exist. So that means that we weren't able to identify an existing company on this password import, so we couldn't place the info that we needed in the right section. Now we can go back and fix line three with that error, so if you ever encounter any problems, be sure to check the import logs. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to us on support or comment down below.